Hello everyone! Oh, I thought it was uh, not clear, but now it looked clear. Well, today it's very different. We're going to do paw flowers. This was my uh, beloved uh, shadow that we did a few years ago, a, a few months before he passed. And I decided to do it with my babies. And I share a picture and everybody's like, how oh, can you do it? It's simple and um, it's easy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna flip the camera upside down and uh, we're gonna get started. I get them both there. They were chewing on something and I told them no. So now they're like pity face. And they both get the um, kennel cough. So they're on medication for that. But that's to be expected when you rescue dogs, right? So um, if you can tell me, can you hear the voice? Okay, is the picture okay? And then I'm going to flip you. And we're going to do paw flowers today. So it's still stamping, but stamping with paws. And not only paws, we're going to use the stamp set for the leaf. I'm using a um, bunch of blossom. So I'm waiting to see if you guys can hear me good. We're going to do it on note card. It's just going to be one flower each. And this measure, um, three by four and a half. Three by four and a half. The Bermuda Bay measure three and a quarter by uh, five and three quarter. And then again, the same thing with watercolor paper and cherry cobbler. So one gonna have cherry cobbler flowers and just one flower each. And the other one, Bermuda Bay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bart, uh, for saying. So um, the I'm going blue with uh, granite, the one granite gravy. The reason why I'm going blue with that because they get a blue color, so then it's easy to remember. And I'm saying it's all cockeye here. Okay. So I got a bucket of plain water here and I'm using my ink pad, absolutely. So I'm gonna get my ink ready and we're gonna do the two paws first and then I'm gonna show you how to do the stem and so on. So I got, um, if you guys are not familiar with uh, stepping up, this is stepping up ink and it's water base. So let's get my granite. Oh, come here you. And I wish, now you won't be able to see the face except a little sniff there. I'm going to share with you. I should have done that before. So um, really, maybe you can see sideways a bit. So you see upside down dog there. So I just want to take his little paw here. I'm going to have to stand up a little bit. I'm taking his paw. Push it, press it R. And then I'm going to take this and put it there. And voila. Now I'm going to dip it in water. Shake, shake, shake. And then we're going to wipe that. So I just wipe it. And no more. So that was a little granny. Now I get big fat, so... Um, Biscuit here. Biscuit is a little bit more heavy, but you know what? We weigh them and it's not that much more. So this time it's cherry cobbler. Gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna show you guys their face when we're done. So tap, tap, tap. A bigger paw over here. You can see the ears and so on. He's a bit curious. This is Speedy. He got one gear and his gear, it's Park. You don't have uh, much speed in the boy. So on the side, I don't know if you can see, I just tap it in the water, take my rag, and take his little paw, and we're going to dry that good. See? Very calm dog. <coughs> oh, yeah. The other one is barking because he's like, hey, <coughs> where's, how come he's on the lap? Here we go. So now that I get that done, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do the center. So um, 
the center of this one, I just put the yellow in it. Whew, I feel I'm sweating. I feel like I ran a mirror top. This one, my daughter did it. And that was shadow. You can see the difference of spots, right? So I'm thinking they're going to get that big also. So um, you see she done the little uh, line. So we're going to try two different ones here. You will be in the camera in a minute, Jenny. He's looking at me like, uh, where's my turn? So I'm using Depth of the Light. I'm using an aqua painter. And I guess this video is going to be shown at people that are not used stamping. If you're wondering what that is, it's a barrel that you just fill this with water and you get a brush, close this, and that you get the ink. And then we're going to do our center. So it's going to be a little bit of red or whatever color flower that you're going to mix with that because, you know, the paws, the fur, and so on. So we're going to leave that like that. We're going to let that dry, and we're going to do something else too in the middle. This when I start, I should have said, you want to make sure that you get water here. Awesome. I'm looking at the comment here, so I get you guys like it. Awesome, awesome. Because many people ask me, I shared that yesterday, you know, and they're like, how can you make your dog do that? And Shadow was way old when we get uh, when we did Shadow. Uh, Shadow passed when he was 13, very old for a lap, I think. And um, I'm going to say our dogs are very patient. If you get new puppies, what you want to do with them when they're little, you want to play with their feet at all times. And I'm going to tell you why. Not just to do the flowers, but when it comes to trim their little nails, it makes it so easy if they're used at people playing with their feet. So every time we uh, raise dog, that's one thing that my husband would do. It's play with their feet at all time. Another thing that he would do, it's when they eat, we're going to go put our hand right in their bowl so if we get company and we get little kids and they go put their hand in their uh, food bowl, then they won't smack at them or bite them and so on. So just a little tip um, how to uh, how, what we do with our beef fur baby. So you see, this was granite. It's quite a bit bigger. And this is the other one. Now what i done, again, it's use my brush, make sure get water. I'm going to use old olive and uh, I want to make sure I get plenty of water here. Oops, finger in. And then I'm just going to do, barely touch the, the paper, barely. So then you get your little stem. Now I'm going to go here, do another little stem. It's easier to add than remove some. Now I'm gonna keep that open. This time I, I'm gonna use um, Mossy Meadow. I didn't use that on the other one, but this one I wanna use Mossy Meadow. I'm gonna use the small leaf. The other one I use both of them. This time I think, cause it's a small card, I think the small leaf's gonna be plenty. So I'm gonna use the one that get the detail with the Mossy Meadow. And we're going to smack one there, and we're going to put another one there. I'm going to do this on the other one, too. And this one, I'm going to go a little bit lower. Here we go. Now, I'm going to wash my stamp. This is an absorber that you can wash your stamp. You just put water in it. First, I was using something else, and the more that I start using it, Oh my, my, I absolutely love it. It really grab and really remove your, uh, the ink. Let me uh, move this here so I don't lose my piece. Now I'm gonna use uh, the insider. Hmm, that, oh, here it is. Oops, no, that's the outside. I want the inside. I put the inside away instead of the outside, silly me. Okay, now we're going to use, we did 
the mossy meadow that's way darker. Now I'm going to use my pear pizzazz or old olive, old olive, and we're going to fill the there and there. And then I'm going to use ear and ear. Okay, now I feel the inside, it's a little bit naked. Here we go. Yeah, you get quite a bit of dogs to marry, so I'm sure you know what uh, putting our uh, in and the food, it's kind of important, right? I'm going to use a soft suede, and what we're going to do with soft suede, I'm just going to use little drops. So make sure I get, you want water for this, but not too much, and I'm going to do just like a flower, add little uh, dots. Okay, so here is the dots. I think that look kind of the center of a flower. And then I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna do the long thing like the other one there, like the seed pod. So I'm just gonna do a little bitty uh, thing here. Now I'm gonna do three stem. And then I'm going to do a little dot at the end for my stem. So now you guys are going to have to tell me which one look better. Is it better with the stem, without the stem? Uh, you guys tell me what look better. You have to try a different uh, kind just to know. But after that, it's going to be dry. And that, what I do to clean it, I just squeeze more water and put it on my rack. Okay, now let's do, uh, oh, if I would have a nice hello, I would put hello there. Let me see for one. Um, I know I get one, but it's think quick of the stamp set. Uh, this one is too big. Yeah, too big. One second. I got a little one. Got it. It is in climbing orchid. I think that hello is going to be perfect. And what I'm going to do is the Bermuda Bay. I'm going to go with Bermuda Bay. And this, I'm going to send this to my, uh, my daughter and my son. One for each. I'm going to say it's from their brother. Your furry brother. Oh, well, that's okay. I wanted to do it in the red there, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? Not too late. The blue's going to be shadow. A shadow, not shadow my dog, but a shadow. Just coming in. Uh, this is going to be, as uh, soon as it's done, it's going to be downloaded, so you can watch from the beginning. Now, I'm going to, okay, I need my head on top of this. Just off a little bit to give a shadow. Upper the dog. That is perfect. So now I just wash it again there. Okay, now I think it's dry enough. We can mount that on our note cards. The note card, ooh, I cannot talk tonight. The note cards uh, come already pre-scored and come with envelope. Where it's indent, that means the valley going to stay out and the mountain's going to be in. So that way this won't uh, like crack at the top. We would think it go the other way around, but no. And then I'm going to use uh, some adhesive here. And we're going to mount that. And then we're going to be done. So uh, I'm going to show you my artist in the back there, the one that did those cards. It's just behind me there, wondering what is going on. They're thinking their mama, it's crazy because they think I'm talking to myself. Here we go. 
Okay, so the red with the red, the red it's cherry cobbler, if you're wondering, the color that of the red that I use. In the stamping of color, it's called cherry cobbler. Oh my goodness, how sweet is that? And then Bermuda Bay. Happy Canada Day, absolutely. All my Canadian follower here, Happy Canada Day. Et voila, how cute is that? Okay, I'm gonna share back with you the, the one that I did in my photo frame. Here we go. That was the big one. So I put here granite and biscuit. So you can do that with your cats, your dog, whatever. Let me flip you. By the way, you're going around and around and boom. So let me introduce you to my furry friend. Okay, this is oh, not biscuit, but granite gravy. That is this little guy here. Oops, and like I said, they got kennel cough. Right now they're not coughing. That's pretty good because let me tell you, they're coughing and yakking pretty good. But that should clear up soon. They had that uh, Bortello and all that. But when, when you rescue dog, and this is the one that acting more and more. And this is my biscuit. Yeah. So that they were just sleeping again. So that is him. Are they got pretty face or what? So that's our, my artist for today. So, yeah, I don't know if I can share with you. See, you're just going to lay that right there. And they're always one on top of each other. The other one usually going to go and one on top and the other one. And they take turns. So it's not always the same one that it's the pillow. They take turn to who's going to be the pillow. So that is it for my surprise of the week. You know, I like to pop live uh, once a week on um, YouTube. None announced. I don't announce it. It's whenever the hurt happen or I can fit it in. And I, whew, I feel I'm out of breath. I don't know why it's hot in here. Um, and I thought after so many questions after I shared those pictures, uh, I think it was yesterday morning, whatever, I thought, oh, I can jump in. So if you miss it, this is my lovely pop flower. How stinking cute is that? And the staff set that I use, the Hello, It's in Climbing or Orchid. And then for the leaf, it's Bunch of uh, Blossom. You can do it by freehand also. And again, stepping up ink or um, water-based ink. So the regular ink, so it won't hurt your, uh, your furry pet. Thank you so much for uh, joining in. I'm going to read all the comments. And till next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now. Have a great week, by the way. And also, if you need any of that product, the note card, watercolor paper, the aqua paint, or anything that I use, visit me at FrenchyStamps.com, and anyone in the U.S. can purchase that there. Have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.